Hello and welcome to Storybook Azeroth, where we adventure through some of the greatest stories in World of Warcraft. Today we seek to harness the corrupting nature of Farak's legendary weapon, Firalath the Dreamrender. once gave their blessing to the world trees. This time... Azeroth blessed us. I felt her presence. It was beautiful. Ah, now I understand. I thought to survive, we needed to reclaim our aspectral powers. But they were never ours to take. It was about coming together, as a family. And so we did. Perhaps, as we were always meant to do. All of us. When the Titans granted us power, it divided Dragonkind. But in uniting for a cause greater than ourselves, Azeroth's gift has made us, at last, Truly whole. We will use these lessons, old and new, to protect our world as her aspects. Alex Straza, what has happened? Something unexpected. The moment you attempted to wield Farak's axe, Feralath, its flames consumed you. Clearly, the weapon's shadow flame was too intense. Perhaps you should consult an expert on shadow flame and ancient artifacts. Maybe one of the scholars at the Azerothian archives can deduce a method for handling it safely. What is another curious mind? I say, what do we have here? How curious. Wait a minute. If you want to handle Firanath safely, you'll need to modify the weapon's haft with three components. First, you'll need a fireproof hide that can handle intense heat. Next, acquire enchanted vellum that can contain the weapon's volatile magic. Finally, a scribe must apply the proper runes so that you can bind the first two materials to the axe. My journal over there includes a few recommendations of crafters who can help you. You might also know a few. I can hardly believe my eyes. Firak's legendary axe, Firalath the Dream Render. My ingenious plan will unlock its true potential. I can't wait to see it realized. Are you insane? Firak nearly burned down the dreaming with that abominable weapon. No one should wield it. Ever! No one can tame it. Anything its shadow flame cannot corrupt, it destroys. Rathion, if anyone is capable of taming this axe, it's our friend and ally. Perhaps there's a way to cleanse the weapon's corruption. Oh, I find that proposition quite dubious. This weapon cannot be purified, but I suspect its shadow flame can be contained. Allow me to reiterate my theory. If we wrapped its haft in enchanted cloth with an evacious application of the right rituals, and then secured the assistance of an enchanter, a leatherworker, and a master of inscription. I owe you a debt of gratitude, champion, so I won't stand in your way, but I insist on watching your progress. I know of a sage who can help temper Firalath. Shalasar Glimmerdusk is an expert on intellectual matters, often pondering theories for controlling volatile magics. 
you understand Sophic matters as well as she does. Seek her guidance in managing Shadowflame. I suspect her solution may include a sprinkle of chronomatic dust. Greetings. Ah, yes. Thank you for making the journey here. Others warned me not to isolate myself from academia, but I knew being sequestered in this remote, natural locale would come in handy someday. I've heard that in the Emerald Dream, a coarse ash with strong properties of shadow flame tends to cling to powerful pieces of equipment. The only way to harvest that powerful dust is by disassembling the equipment. Here, use this rod I've enchanted. It should allow you to siphon off the dust you need. I hope the dousing rod helped. Now on to the next step. We can refine my creation by embedding the enchantment with order magic. Here are my notes on concentrated Sophic Vellum. Sharing this with another enchanter should give them enough info to complete the crafting for you. The order and shadow flame magics are competing with each other. The enchantment will never be able to funnel Feralath's power if we can't channel the excess order magic being forced away from it. If you can channel the enchantment, your allies can catch any excess order magic. Hard work, but well worth it. Use this vellum well. I know a crafter who could help temper Firalath. Eridan of Clan Shakar is extremely resourceful. He's performed many experiments with various reagents throughout the Dragon Isles. Hunters are only as good as their weapons. Erden is known for crafting exquisite weaponry with exotic materials. His expertise in various flora and fauna should prove quite informative. I see. That axe would certainly be painful to wield. When Firalath's power is at its limit, you need a grip that can cool itself. It is like standing your ground when a beast charges you. As the battle heats up, you need a way to stay focused. Various leathers throughout the Dragon Isles have that cooling property, but I know of something better. Foliage that is routinely exposed to shadow flame would be the best choice for binding the components together. Let us gather what you will need. Excellent. You hunt for something long enough, you will always find it. I am glad we found precisely what you need. To craft something workable, we'll need a substantial amount of Xerilek glow spores and some leather. Here are my notes on the symbiotic glow spore grip. Time for the final step. This might be a little... unpleasant. You will have to trust me. We need to activate the reagents embedded in the grip. Wrapping the grip around Firalath's haft should work, as long as you can survive the onslaught that follows. You're going to need to make some adjustments as you go, and you won't get it the first time. The spores need to adapt to the axe. Good work. This grip should serve you well. Lydria Whisperfeather is an academic who recognizes the rigidity of the rules that govern our world. She also likes bending them. If there is anyone who can assist with binding Firalath's power, it's her. Go in peace. You want to bind Shadow Flame? How dangerous. How daring. Let's do it. I've been studying the flora of the Emerald Dream. Studying the realm's exotic and dreamlike plants is quite distracting, but I've seen one particular that could help us find some answers. I've read of a root in the Emerald Dream, known for its defensive qualities. It binds its tendrils to powerful foes as a way to protect the surrounding flora and fauna. A friendly scribe might be able to help you adapt its property. If I could just get my hands on some of that root, I'm sure I could dissect its properties and mold it into something capable of harnessing Feralath's power. Here are my notes. You should be able to find the powerful creatures guarding patches of wild tether coral. Good hunting! I'm impressed. You're certainly tenacious. Now we can craft the base of our binding room. 
We're in uncharted territory here, but I've got a plan. You'll need some cosmic ink, runed weather bark, and shadow flame essence. Sharing this recipe with a friendly scribe will allow them to help you complete this craft. Let me update my notes with a recipe for the rune of shadow binding. Perfect. Of course, we aren't finished yet. We'll need to strengthen the binding if we're to have any hope in making Firalath accept our modifications. We need to finalize the binding. We can attune the components properly by testing them in combat against Firak's most powerful lieutenants. Then we can bind the attuned materials to Firalath. If you can defeat Gnarlroot, Igara the Cruel, and Volokros while this rune is bound to them, you'll be ready to fully attune the rune of Shadowbinding. How exciting! I'm more of a crafter than a fighter, but your martial skills are quite impressive. Have you uncovered something new for us? My door is always open. Excellent. I knew my instructions would prove sufficient. Oh, and congratulations to you as well. I commend your diligence. Exemplary. Some of the components can be wrapped and attached by hand, but for the last step, you'll need a powerful forge to unify all three in flame. I've been speaking to Rathion. He can direct you to a suitable forge in the Obsidian Citadel. I'll meet you both there. I can't wait to see what happens as a result of my ingenious plan. You made it. It's time to forge these components together. Are you ready? Yes. Excellent. Let us begin. Champion, would you do the honors? Champion! Not what I expected. Don't worry about the champion, Edward. They have taken worse blows. I don't understand. The handle clearly diminished the shadow flame, but the axe was still too unstable to wield effectively. Is there something you wish to discuss? I know our champion has accomplished much, but we need to prove they can resist the corrupting influence of shadow flame. Never fear, I know a ritual for this. To Until wield this time. axe, you must demonstrate complete dominance over it. Once you've beaten its power into submission, you can safely wield Fairlath without falling prey to its corrupting influence. You stand before the Black Prince. When you're ready, let me know. We'll travel to Avernus together. If we're going to do this, we should do it far away from others. Just to be clear, if the axe defeats you, I will be obligated to step in. But that's not going to happen, is it? You're not going to be corrupted by Shadowflame, you won't devolve into a monstrous, murderous shadow of your former self. I'm not going to have to... intervene. As long as we're clear on this, no one is going to have to kill anyone. Alright? Let's get this done. We now have something in common. We both share the burden of making something positive out of my father's legacy. Lucky you. Misery loves company. Wield that axe wisely. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future adventures. Safe travels until we meet next in the world of Warcraft.